question is again complicated by laboratories abroad which, are not, which do tests which are not scientifically validated. Many of these patients in their desperation because they've not got better will go to alternative practitioners. Uh, the Breakspear Hospital in Hemel Hempstead is one who will not send tests to UK laboratories. They send tests to a German laboratory in Ausbach or uh, Igenex in Allo Palto in California. And guess what? They get a positive result back. Uh, not only do they get a positive result back for Borrelia burgdorferi, um, but they get a positive result back for anaplasma, ehrlichia, babesia, and a multitude of other co-infections, which, uh, of course, reinforces um, the beliefs of these patients that they have a treatable infectious disease. Um, so it's a really complex issue and although these patients have chronic fatigue and lack of energy they seem to have a massive amount of energy to campaign for their illness uh, and they spend um, a, 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 an inordinate amount of time writing to their MPs or to the Department of Health um, or slagging off um, uh, doctors who are trying to do the best for them because they believe that there's some massive uh, conspiracy going on. Now, I'm, I'm, pre I'm presenting the extreme here because there are plenty of people who really do believe that they were well one moment, bitten by a tick, and then have been unwell since. So uh, I, want to, I want to stress there is, I think, a spectrum of illness here uh, of which these um, uh, conspiracy theorists are the, uh, the sort of worst end of the spectrum. Um, and here's a chap, um, I, I just got this picture off the internet, 